Hi, my name is James Knight. In March 2017, the BBC reported that following a long legal process that went back to 2013, Barton LeClay resident Mr. Shaw was given 12 months by the Central Beds Council to demolish an extension that he had built on his house on Private Road. Council argued that his alteration was an inappropriate development in an area of outstanding beauty. When the council won the appeal, Nigel Young, the council's executive member for regeneration, said, quote, as a council, we have a clear duty to protect our area from excessive development. We will actively challenge any development which threatens the character of our area. If allowed to stand, the original inspector's decision threatened to set a dangerous precedent for other developments within the green belt. The planning inspector, Diane Lewis, said the site was causing serious harm to the green belt and in the public interest should be remedied as soon as possible. Nigel Young, who is playing the lead role for the council's local plan, added, quote, Mr. Shaw must return the dwelling to a stage which does not cause overwhelming harm to the Greenbelt. When Mr. Shaw had won an earlier ruling against the council, Young said, as quoted by the BBC, the planning inspector's decision totally disregarded Barton LeClay residents and was completely at odds with the concerns to protect the environment and defend the green belt from inappropriate development. He said that there had been 11 formal complaints. Now here's the point, whether you like or dislike Mr. Shaw's architecture, this house overlooks the very same area where the football grounds are located that the Central Bedfordshire Council is now proposing to build 158 houses. In winning the appeal, Jason Longhurst from the council said, this outcome sends a clear message that we have a fair approach to the planning process, which supports and guides our residents. My question is, what kind of clear message is the CBC sending by now proposing to build on two Greenbelt sites in Barton LeClay? And that's not all. They are proposing to build the highest number of houses, 666, out of all 52 village and town locations in central Bedfordshire. We were given a booklet on uh, January 18th at the Rovers and the plan that was introduced to us for the first time. On page 10, growth in other towns and villages, it says, quote, growth in villages is only included where this can be supported by local services or where the developments will enhance these services. Really? How will adding close to an estimated 2,000 people enhance our current waiting time of six weeks or more for an appointment at our doctor's surgery or add to our overcrowded schools? In speaking with Nigel Young on January 18th, I was not surprised to discover that he was unaware that Barton LeClay's health services and schools were already suffering under the strain of providing health care and schools for over 600 new homes built in Silso in the last 18 months. So the bottom line is that the council's proposal to build 666 houses on Barton LeClay's Greenbelt harms Barton residents and its green belt, their site selection process is flawed, and they have failed to justify very special circumstances, making the proposed developments inappropriate. 
We feel that when given the chance for us to present our case to the state inspector, like Mr. Shaw, the council will be told under no uncertain terms that these sites would cause serious harm to the green belt, and it is in the public interest to find appropriate alternatives. The council hasn't given you much time to object. The deadline is February 22nd, so we must act now. To help make it easier for you to deliver your objection to this plan, the Barton Resident Action Group has prepared a simple one-page objection form. To download the form, go to handsoffgreenbelt.co.uk. You can post the form to the council and the address is at the top. But frankly, the only way that we can be certain that your objection will be logged is if we hand deliver it ourselves, just like we did three years ago when we won our last case against the council with the inspector. So to ensure that your objection gets to the right place, please drop it off at the pet shop next to the co-op and we will personally deliver it through the Barton Resident Action Group. And we will email you and keep you apprised of all the new developments. So until next time, bye for now.